Knicks on the second half of a back-to-back -back head to MSG to take on the Utah Jazz. And, uh, you know, this thing would, would uh, kind of pick up where it left off, man. Jalen Brunson continues to cook, continues to slice and dice the league after the All-Star game. Disrespect. 38 points for Captain Clutch. Julius Randle would follow behind with 31 points. But this thing got interesting in the fourth. Because uh, after he was sleepwalking through most of this game, Larry Marketing woke up. At a monster fourth, Knicks could not keep the Jazz out of the paint whatsoever. Taylor Horton Tucker, Jordan Clarkson having their way. But in the end, it was Captain Clutch, Jalen Brunson, Julius Randle with the clutch plays, and the new Nick, Josh Hart, leaving his imprint on the game. The trio leading the Knicks to a 126 to 120 win over the Jazz. Knicks go to 15 and 15 at home at MSG and get back to back wins on back to back nights. Good game from Brunson. Good game from Randall. Great debut from Hart. Um, Quickly gave a good gave a good amount of effort tonight. I like yeah. Isaiah Hartenstein, how he's been working the glass. He's really been 14, stepping it up. 14 man. rebounds for Hartenstein tonight. Yo, he's really been coming around, man. He, you know, like beginning of the season, getting to the halfway point. Fans, even even I was like ready to pack this guy up out of here, drive him to LaGuardia, but he's really been stepping up. Absolutely. And um I thought RJ fought as well, man. Second, first half. He was, he was, uh, it was a little rough. It was a little rough. He's playing very much below the rim. I thought uh, a lot of those guys, especially on the Jazz, they were timing his drives perfectly. You know, a lot of his shots got blocked. Couldn't knock down much. But in the third and fourth quarter, he was able to get into a groove and uh, and delivered. You know, like I said, that corner three, that heart got him was, was big. Now, yeah, he missed a couple. He, he, he had some tunnel vision, had some blinders on, and missed Obi. On, on an on an alley oop, especially in the third quarter. But overall I thought RJ bounced back strong and uh he finished with twenty points on six of fifteen, shooting two of six from downtown, six boards for RJ, three dimes. Thought that was a good bounce back game for him as well. I like the way that Brunson played tonight, man. Thirty eight points. Cap was just clutch. Talk dude about was, it. Talk dude about was it. Dust knocking down shots, man. Eleven for twenty two with fifty percent from the field, two for five from downtown. But the way that he just can manipulate, he just makes the defense bend, man. Whatever he wants to do, he he could just do whatever he wants. No one can stop him, man. Last 10 games for Jalen Brunson, 27 points, 6 assists, 44% from 3, 51% from the field. Put some respect on his name, man. Put some respect on his name. Kill him. There you go. Do you think that he's even more comfortable? Like, he was... He looked comfortable on this team, like when he got here, just taking over. But now having your boy from Villanova and Josh Hart on this team, like you just saw, like Hart's first first points came off a of Brunson assist, and then Hart get, gets his assist by passing yeah. off to Brunson. It's yeah. like they they haven't forgotten how they played uh, on the same team together back at Villanova. I feel like that adds another level of comfort for him. Sure. You know what I mean? Just like knowing somebody who's out there who understands your game. That's why you can see him going for 38 points. And, I mean, Hart, we're going to get into it, but Hart brings that connection like he does for Grimes, right, being a connector. So that yeah. might even relieve not only Brunson, but quickly, too, because there were instances, like, in that with that second unit, how Hart was pushing transition. Quickly I like how they were pushing freer. it, man. You know I like what how know they mean? were pushing it. Yep. Quickly looked a little bit more free. It's like, oh, I can play off ball now because – McBride not really going to push the pace like that. He's more careful with the basketball, but Hart just knows how to get out into the open space and starts keeps his head up, can look for guys. He found Obi Toppin too, so I'm very much intrigued to see how this whole team is going to change with Hart now on this roster. Uh, let, let's talk about it, man. Josh Hart once again in his Nick debut, eleven points, seven rebounds, four assists, four steals. And of those seven rebounds, four offensive rebounds. And as I said, a big one led to an R.J. Barrett corner three, which pushed the Knicks lead from three to six. And Hart also chipped in 
with three with with two threes in the fourth quarter, which was big, shooting thirty percent from three. Got two nice opportunities, knocked it down. As you said, he started the game off, attacked the basket, got to the line, and then on the next possession, gets out in transition, gets the layup uh, off the pass from Brunson. He finds, uh, he's pushing the pace again. He finds Brunson for three. Pushing the pace again in transition. He finds Obi for a layup. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, not to be a prisoner of the moment, but I think in this game, you saw why the Knicks traded for him, and this is the guy that they're getting. You know, th- this is the guy that they're getting in Josh Hart. It's it's a guy that's he's going to fill it up across the stat sheet, right? It's not going to be glitzy. It's not going to be glamorous, but he's impactful, man. He's very impactful. Look, the Knicks got Hart, baby. We're looking good, yeah. and it was a good win for the fans. And, uh, you know, uh, another thing I wanted to mention, like you guys brought it up, RJ at sometimes could do have the bondage on and he could get a little, uh, almost like we would call it days, like he could be a little nut sometimes with the ball. Mm-hmm. But he pulled it together in the second half and gave us a better game. Another thing I want to bring up is that the um, that I'm not too happy about the production we're getting from the center position. Uh, we, we definitely could use some, some more offensive uh, power from the guards. I know Mitch is limited in his offense if he gives, he gives us good defense, but we need a little more uh, production from that offensive, um, from that center position. You know, but overall, the Knicks going to fall in love with the, with Hart. He's our type of player, and that's what we do. Like. We like those kind of hustle players. That's a fact. And he's humble. And him and Jalen, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna have a good little run. So I'm happy about tonight's win, and I look forward to more production from these guys. With Grimes, I think to be honest with you, I think um, Harsh Harsh should take his position. I'm just being straight up honest with you. I like his energy from start to finish and watching him play throughout his career. He has that energy. I don't. I think Grimes is not ready for the moment. Not saying he won't be ready in the future, but like you said, you're not going to bench RJ. It's just not going to happen. And Hart gives you more than what Grimes gives you. He's longer. He he seems to be more athletic. He plays better defense. And I don't know if he's going to hit the open shot as much as Grimes, but um, like Alex scored it today, 30, like 30% wide open. You know, he's in a slump, and he, he's young. I don't know if he can handle the pressure right now. So I, w- I will make that switch, to be, to be honest, if, if, that, if any switch would need to be made. With RJ, he needs to sit down with DeMar DeRozan over the offseason. He needs to go train with DeMar DeRozan to figure out some footwork because he gets in that mid-range and – Instead of him having a – instead of his shot – his shot looks uncomfortable every time he shoots the ball. It's like you, he don't know where to shoot it at. I, I feel like some off-season training with DeMar DeRozan would help him tremendously, especially in that mid-range. Besides that, man, I like the way the Knicks look tonight. Jalen Brunson, um, he's balling out of control. If you hate John, if you, if you hate Ram, um, Julius or you love him, you got to love everything you're getting from him this year. He's he's not going to be perfect, but um, yeah. With, with RJ, he need he just he's he's regressed so much this year. I think he needs to go train um train with Demar Derozan. And like I said, with Grimes, I think that that when I saw tonight, that ought to be a switch. One of the first things when RJ first got here as a rookie, and I had lunch with John Starks, and one of the first things when I was talking to Starks, I was like, "What do you think? What you know? What do you think?" He said, I think I need I think he needs a track coach. No, I'm dead ass. That's that's what John Sox told me. I know. Straight up and down. <laughs> he said he didn't like his gait. He said, back in my day, we used to have a track coach. Mm. That would help us with our gait, with our footwork, so on and so forth. That's what John Sox said. We out of here, man. Uh, we'll see you guys. We'll be I'll take off tomorrow. See you guys Tuesday, man. Knicks versus Nets. We out of here. Peace.